When the Stephen Harper government says an Exxon Valdez-style spill could never happen in Canada, they're partly right. That's because Exxon actually had to pay for a significant portion of its spill. Since then, oil tanker companies have found ways to limit their liability. Instead of directly owning their ships, they form one-ship companies whose only assets are the ship itself. These companies are registered in places like Liberia, Panama, and the Marshall Islands. If there is a major oil spill, the company operating the ship is insulated from any major compensation costs. For example, the Tamba is a recently built very large crude carrier registered in Panama, the same kind of oil tanker that Enbridge and Stephen Harper would like to bring into Canada's coastal waters. But there's more to the Tamba than meets the eye. The Tamba is owned by Rafflesia Shipholding SA. The SA stands for Societe Anonyme, or Anonymous Society, an anonymous company. Rafflesia Shipholding is one of at least 379 anonymous companies registered in Panama by NYK Shipping, including companies such as Souffle, Penne, Biscuit, Eclair, and Sorbet Shipholding. There's also flute, clarinet, trombone, and cello shipholding. All of this would be funny if it weren't for the fact that these companies serve one clear purpose, creating a legal structure that protects the parent company in the event that something goes wrong. If a super tanker operated by one of these companies runs aground off the coast of British Columbia, who do you think is going to clean it up?